there, thanks for stopping by. Today we're gonna to be doing a review and a how-to for these custom floor mats for my Tesla Model S. Now before we go anywhere, I'll tell you right off the bat, this is probably some of the best money I've spent on an accessory for this car. They're not exactly cheap, but I will say they're worth every penny. So I went ahead and took them out of the car, laid them out on the concrete so we can get a good view of them. That's not the only reason I did this. I also did this because I wanna show you the first tip for installing these. And that is right when you get them, take them out of the box and put them in the sun for about 15 to 30 minutes. What it's gonna do is it's gonna let them relax a little bit. They're gonna be bent up just a tiny bit. Now, even though they're custom, you're gonna to want to do that so that they can mold better into the shape of the spots where they're supposed to go. So now I wanna talk about some things I love about these floor mats. Not only are they like a great custom fit, but the, the material they're made out of is nice and strong, but it's also pliable. So they're really easy to get in and out of the floors. So not only that about the material, it's got this great texture to it. Um, your feet don't slip around, it catches the dirt off of your feet really well, but it's also super easy to clean. So all you gotta do is hit it with a nice jet of water, let it dry, put it back in. So the next thing I love about these is this sidewall. This sidewall right here, nice and tall. A lot of floor mats, you get them and that sidewall isn't very tall, so the dirt doesn't quite stay in. These are tall all the way around, all the way up even underneath the seats. Great for keeping the dirt in. Another thing that's kind of overlooked sometimes is how high this part where your foot rests when it's not on the pedals comes up. Some of them only come up to like right here maybe, and they don't quite cover that so your foot sits above the mat and then dirt goes down behind it. This one goes fully up and I, I have a size 12 shoe and it fits on there really well. Dirt doesn't get behind, keeps the floors clean. So inevitably these are going to get dirty. Of course, they're made to do that. So all you gotta do is carefully pull them out, dump it out and you're good to go. Like I said before, if you really wanna get down to it and spray it off, you can, but you don't have to. You can just dump that dirt off put them back in. One of the main reasons I got these floor mats is because me and my family, we love to go hiking. Now I got three kids that go in the back of this thing and you know they are not cleaning their feet up. So this one that goes in the back seat, it stretches from edge to edge and it's got like about four or five inch lip to keep that dirt in. Not only that, it stretches a few inches way beyond and under the seat. So this is super helpful for keeping those kids dirt in place. Sometimes putting in custom floor mats can be dang near impossible because the material is so rigid. With these Coos floor mats, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to put it in because that material is nice and flexible. So to put these guys in, you can see the flexibility makes it really easy. All you gotta do is kind of angle it down underneath those pedals, and that's it really. Now there is a little spot right here where you kind of tuck that edge of the floor mat underneath the trim in the car so that dirt goes down and in. All right, putting in this rear one is probably the most difficult of the three, but even then, it's super easy. Just lay it across the back like that. Line up those front pieces, kind of slide it forward as you go. Now this one, it might seem like it's not custom at first, but it's actually just a nice tight fit. And right along here, that back edge of it, pushes down and underneath the seats a little bit. This right here is the passenger side one that I've already put in. And I'm gonna show you how this high side wall right here really comes into play. It might seem like, oh, it's too tall for this, but really, if you take it and you wedge it underneath here, just like that, it's actually perfect. Now, any dirt that comes on here is gonna go down into the mat instead of onto your carpet. All right, so final thoughts on these floor mats. You can get them for a great price on Amazon, but not only that, they're gonna do their job really well. They got those high side walls, they're flexible, they're easy to install and clean. I think you're gonna love them, I love them. Like I said, I think this is some of the best money I've spent on a small accessory like this. I get use out of it every day. When I go on those hiking trips with my family, no longer do I have to worry about uh, getting dirt all over the carpets and being a mess to clean up. I searched for these for a long time. And I'm glad I found them. So if you think that you found this helpful, please consider liking, subscribing to this channel, and I will be bringing more fresh squeeze content all the time.